Joyce, nurses here say it's not just them, but patients that are being put in unsafe conditions and they want the hospital to do something about it. Calm in spirit, you're no good. Treat your nurses like you should. Nurses care for the community, but at Virginia Mason, nurses say a lack of staff and security measures makes that hard to do. I'm so sick of having short staffing at work every day. Brad Rath, he is a med surgeon nurse, and he says low staffing can lead to dangerous situations for both patients and nurses. I was stabbed in the face with a butter knife in July. He says the patient who stabbed him had already shown aggressive behavior, and he had asked for someone to watch the patient just 30 minutes before the incident, but they had no staff available. I was bleeding, and we called security. I think that it could have been prevented if we had enough staff to watch to see, make sure that he didn't have time to like hide anything. ICU nurse Michael Salters also says pay is not high enough while patient loads are too high. We have daily short staffing. The hospital will be short 10, 15, 20 nurses at a time, forcing the nurses who are there to take patient loads that feel unsafe. The hospital sent King 5 a statement saying, in part, Virginia Mason Franciscan Health is committed to ensuring a safe and high quality workplace that attracts and retains our dedicated employees. We address any safety issues immediately as they occur and work to ensure a secure environment is provided for everyone. But people like ER nurse Kimberly Travis Carter says she has debated quitting her job because of how unsafe she feels. We're trained to be nurses, but in the emergency room, we are we are security guards. They are calling for measures like more security, canines, and metal detectors. One of our departments uh, two or three days ago had a, had a gun. Um, perhaps if we had a metal detector, we could have stopped that from happening. These nurses hope the hospital will negotiate with their union to address these problems and that they're worried for the future if they don't. Then it's only a matter of time before someone gets seriously injured or killed. The ER nurse you just heard from said she had a co-worker who's almost hit in the head by someone with a hammer. The nurses say that the violence being seen in downtown Seattle is also being seen inside their hospital. Connor, do the nurses feel like the hospital's listening to their concerns? Right now, the nurses tell me they don't feel like they're being heard, which is why they picketed outside the hospital today. But the hospital says as they continue to negotiate with the union that they respect the bargaining process and that they are participating in good faith in those negotiations. Back to you, Joyce.